as the name says, enable okay. feature. So this is this is the page where you will be enabling or disabling any feature in your NetSuite account. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's let's consider your your example. So you're working on AR, right? Um, yes. So if you if you need multiple currencies, like you know, invoicing in different currencies from your base currency, there is a feature called multiple currencies. So you need to first enable okay. that feature in your NetSuite account. <laughs> That would give you the ability to, you know, create invoices in different currencies against your uh, customers. So just to Based give you, a, you know, yeah. So just to give you an example, like this is this is the page where you enable or disable the features. Now you will not come on this page uh, until you have understood uh, the the client's requirement, okay? Uh, because yes. there are certain features that once enabled cannot be disabled. So you have to be really cautious mm -hmm. about that. Okay, so to yes. understand the client's requirement, like this is what we also do as a consultant. So we we do a complete as a session with them, where we understand what they are doing, how they are doing, and once we identify what their requirements are, uh, and then we you know jump into their NetSuite account and do their configurations and enable features. So again, okay. uh, a very uh, you know uh, a, a thing to note here as a consultant that never jump on enable features right away uh, because once you enable it, uh, a, a certain feature might not be disabled, and then you have to contact the NetSuite support team or you know whatever. So yeah. it might be a little bit cumbersome activity then. So to avoid that, mm -hmm. always get the information from the client first. Always get the requirements, and then enable any feature. Okay. So okay. Now let's jump into NetSuite and see where we have the enable features. So again, the the beauty of NetSuite is that everything related to the setups and config is in our setup tab over here so in the setup tab okay. you again go in company and here you have your enable features so right below a company okay. information you have enable features you click on that okay and it's going to take you to the enable feature page so here you yes. will notice that there are multiple tabs each tab is reflecting its own module all right so company means all the company-wide or netsuite overall account wise uh, uh, features that will get enabled accounting means only specific to accounting tax is related to the taxation transaction anything uh, other than accounting uh, transactions like order management procurement would come under transactions items and inventory so as the name suggests so this is going to be all related to the items and inventory part employees so to track any employee related stuff you have employee related enable features CRM for the mm -hmm. CRM module of NetSuite. These are the CRM features. Analytics, so you know, for your dashboard and analytics features. Web presence. So NetSuite, again, uh, I mean, let me just give you a quick background here. So NetSuite is not just an ERP system. NetSuite is an ecosystem. And why I'm saying this is that NetSuite also offers you to create your website on the NetSuite platform, which is called Suite Commerce. Uh, have you heard about that? No. Okay, all right. So again, you know, uh, Suite Commerce is is the web portal of NetSuite. So uh, let's say there is an organization uh, who needs to have its own website and e-com uh, store. So what they can do is they can also create that website on NetSuite platform. So NetSuite also does offer that feature, and that's what is reflected in the web presence. So again, you know, this is mm -hmm. something that you should know that NetSuite, uh, apart from the ERP, also has a web presence, and the clients can create their own website on that. Uh, portal so okay. web presence is reflecting the website and uh, sweet cloud okay yeah and so yeah this this is again you know just for your uh, journal information uh, there there is usually a separate team for sweet commerce and sweet commerce implementations uh, but as a consultant functional consultant you should be aware that there is a thing called sweet commerce where the clients can create their own uh, e-commerce stores and websites uh, if they wish to Okay, and Suite Cloud. So Suite okay. Cloud is typically, you know, all the customizations in NetSuite. So in NetSuite, you can do multiple types of customizations. You can create custom records. You can do advanced PDF templates. I'm sure you are already aware of that. So that the PDF form that you generate for a sales order and invoice is basically an advanced PDF template. So you enable this from yes. here, and you are able to, you know, generate those in your NetSuite account. And uh, mm -hmm. if you need any scripting, uh, again, you know, as I mentioned, the word customization. So uh, scripting is also something that you can do, client script, server scripts, to to do something that is not out of the box. So let's say your client is asking for some 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 scenario which is 
not available with the native feature of NetSuite. So what you can do is you can engage your development team or your customization team, and they could write a JavaScript code and deploy that script on their NetSuite account and do that automation for that particular situation. So it's all part of the customization. Mm -hmm. And for that, you need to make sure that the suite scripts are enabled on your NetSuite account. So just, just want to give you a high level perspective that when you go into this field of consultancy, you might face some situations where scenarios uh, are not uh, achieved with the native features of NetSuite. So let's take an example. Mm -hmm. Like uh, there is this organization who needs to, you know, uh, create a quote and then convert that quote into a sales order, right? Now, uh, okay. what happens is that once they create a, a sales order, they want to make sure that that quote is automatically closed or that there are certain things that automatically happens on that quote document without any manual intervention or manual data entry. Now, this is, you know, something that is not out of the box. So for that, what you could do is you could write a, a client script, a server script, and uh, if, if you know all the technical skills, like if you could do Java coding, uh, you could do this scripting and, uh, you know, uh, that would automatically achieve that requirement of the client. So, so yeah, I mean, just, just to give you uh, a concept about, about the scripting and customizations. So, yes. so this, is, this is basically the page where you would be enabling the scripting first that would give your team the ability to write codes and deploy it on a NetSuite account. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And again, you know, as I mentioned on this page, uh, you click on help and it is going to show you each and everything uh, about this by tab. So we were on the journal company features, accounting, tax, transactions, items. So at any point in time, if you want to know what each feature would do, click on it. Let's say items and inventory. And here you will see. Uh, if I go back on the items and inventory, so here we have items, and within items we have multiple, you know, options: drop shipment, matrix, multiple vendors. And if I again go back on my help center, so you will notice all the description related to each feature that you saw on that page. So yes. reading this is really compulsory if you want to, you know, do your certification, especially Sweet Foundation. Um, because each and every feature you have to click on the help. Either you click on the help to to read the description, or you go on the help center and read the description. Because uh, uh, from certification uh, completion perspective, this is this is really really a mandatory thing that you should do. Uh, I literally had to you know read each and everything uh, on this uh, mm -hmm. you know enable features page to understand myself like what it would do. Uh, and then you know it was also very compulsory for my certification clearance as well. Okay. So mm -hmm. just 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 invest a lot of time on this. Like you know, go on the company, and here let me let me also talk about a few features that are very important. Like classifications. Are you aware of the concept of classification in NetSuite since you are using NetSuite? Uh, classifications. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, as I could able to see on the screen, uh, uh, I mean, is it departments, locations, classes? So mm -hmm. those are comes under classifications. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but are you using classifications with your current, exp uh, uh, you know, exposure to NetSuite? Yes, we are using them. And I mean, we have different departments, different locations, and classes. All right. So, so you know the idea why why you are doing that, like why you are assigning a department, class, and location on a transaction or classifying the transactions. Uh, so uh, uh, it's a. Uh, uh, to segregate the revenue, so we are using these uh, departments, uh, uh, locations, as classes. I hope, right? Perfect. Yeah. So that's that's the the bullseye definition of it. So NetSuite also offers, you know, some some certain classifications that would allow you to track your revenue and expenses by department, class, and locations. So mm -hmm. again, very very important concept. So when whenever you are recording a transaction, you 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 have to select your GL code, right? Chart of account either as an item mm -hmm. or as an uh, you know gl code uh, now if you're mm -hmm. not using classification everything would be parked under that gl code and when you run your uh, financial statements you would just simply see your gl uh, account wise balances now if you want to slice and dice this data if you want to see this uh, financial reporting from a different perspective by single clicks it's very important that when you are doing the transaction entry you classify that information with relevant you know department location and class and this would give you yes. the ability to see your revenue and PL by departments, by classes, by, by locations. 
and with classes yes. you know you can you can use it for any 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 sort of reporting like you can do use this for your sales channel wise profitability report you can use classes for your product category wise reporting so any anything that the client wants to see so it's it's very important that you are aware of the concept of classification because as a functional consultant when you uh, go on a client you need to explain them why why they need to track uh, you know uh, department class and uh, location you need to make them realize mm -hmm. the importance of using these classifications because this is going to help them a lot in their you know uh, reportings and financial profitability uh, and also there are certain uh, clients that uh, do not use these classifications in their legacy system so it's a really new concept for them so if you are aware of this uh, or all the advantages of using classifications you can also tell them that, like like let's say you know you don't need to create multiple gl codes you just create one sales gl code and tie it to your department and class and later see all the uh, all the reports by by class and activities and by by departments by locations so it 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 makes your chart of account very clean and tidy right so yeah i mean it's, it's a very very important uh, concept and you will see all the reports in NetSuite run by department, class, and location. So if you want to see your sales, you can see that. If you want to see your expenses, you can see that. If you want to see your balance sheet in NetSuite by classes, location, and department, you can see that. And you can also do your comparative analysis and everything you know by classes. So very important concept uh, within NetSuite. Now, yes. if you do not want to use classifications in NetSuite, what you would do is you would come up on this page, enable features, and you would simply disable this. So let's say your client uh, does not track expenses by department and they don't want to enter anything in the department field. You would just disable this from here. Yes. Okay. So, so this, yes. is, this is the whole concept of enable features. So on this page, you would come up and just disable it. So we don't want departments anymore. And once you save it, departments is gone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. And again, I, I would highly recommend just read all these features uh, in detail because there is a lot of things that you will see here. Now, one more thing, again, uh, since uh, you really want to go on the functional consultancy side, I would also like to tell you that uh, enable features would uh, you know, differentiate uh, based on account. So if you are on a certain account, uh, on a certain client account, uh, some features might not be on a different, uh, you know, on another client's account. So it all depends upon the on the NetSuite account that your client has purchased. So manufacturing organizations would have, you know, all these planned work orders and in the items you would see assembly orders and bill of materials and all that stuff. But if your um, client is not a manufacturing company, you, they might not have all these details over here. So just to give you a heads up that enable features would uh, would vary based on account to account. So you don't need to get worried about that. Okay. Yes. All right. All righty. And yeah, I was also telling you that there are certain things that uh, once enabled cannot be disabled. And a very classic example of this is inventory and multi location inventory. Once you enable so, this, this gets grayed out. So you cannot disable it. So you have to be very cautious okay. before enabling them. So you, oh, you can see that there is a no. Yeah, so after you have distributed item, you cannot turn this feature off without contacting the NetSuite customer support. So you have to contact yes. the NetSuite customer support to, you know, uh, re-enable it or disable it. Oh, if it is not our hands, like we need to uh, contact yeah. our NetSuite support uh, yeah. to, to get yeah. this out. Yes. Absolutely, you have to do this for, for this feature. But for oh. others, you know, hmm. you can definitely do that. But for certain ones, you know, you, you have to contact them. So like in accounting, let me see. So yeah, this accounting period is disabled because I've already used accounting periods. I cannot now, you know, disable it because it's gonna create a mess in my reportings. So there are certain features which get grayed out because you have already created transactions as well. So you have to delete all those transactions and then you would be able to, you know, uncheck this. So it becomes really, really cumbersome, especially when you're doing it on production. So be very yeah. cautious when you're dealing with all these, you know, enable features.